It turns out Erin Litchie has no problem with a first class plane ticket, so long as it belongs to her. The Real Housewives of New York City star was seen partaking in the ultimate travel faux pas, going barefoot. After shading co-star Jenna Lyons for her bougie travel preferences during season 14 of the Bravo reality series, an insider exclusively told Page Six that Erin and her husband Abe were dressed casually while flying first class back to the Big Apple from Cancun, Mexico on October 23rd, sitting in the first two seats of the first row of a Delta Airlines flight. Our spy said Erin was wearing minimal makeup, jeans, and white slides, which we're told she removed before takeoff. Our source described the Bravo Liberty as a pata sucia, which in Spanish pokes fun at a person who walks around barefoot. They noted that Erin had her shoes off and feet up against the wall. However, our informant made sure to note that the couple was super sweet while interacting with a fan who had recognized them. The sighting comes weeks after Erin was ridiculed online for telling her co-stars that Jenna didn't travel with them to Anguilla for their cast trip because she doesn't fly coach. While Jenna did admit to Aaron in a one-on-one -on -one conversation they'd had before that she prefers sitting in the first class, the former executive creative director and president of J. Crew also confided in her friend that she wanted to arrive at the Caribbean island early so she could work on her tan. Jenna suffers from a genetic condition that affects her skin, which she's explained has impacted her confidence. During part one of the Real Housewives of New York City reunion, Erin told Jenna that she was sorry and admitted that she should have given backstory when relaying the information to their equally catty castmates. Though Jenna accepted the homegirl founder's apology, she said watching the scene back made her feel really bummed. Cy De Silva, who had called Jenna's decision to fly separately corny, interjected to apologize on behalf of the whole group and acknowledged that perhaps they were just a little jealous.